Hi, I'm Tom Evans, and this is That Stuff. In today's video, I'm doing a slightly different type of video. Why basically, this is who will be the next James Bond? After watching No Time to Die, and with the ending, all I can say is, what an ending. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. Daniel Craig, he started Bond when he was 38. He's now 53, and that's a good 15 years he's been playing Bond. And quite frankly, I think he's done a quite a good job. Who's gonna be the next Bond? That's the question. Sean Connery was 28 when he took the role. George Lazenby was 31. Roger Moore was 45, the oldest. Timmy Zoltan, 42. Piers Brosnan, 43 at the time. They are quite on the 40s, apart from, you know, a few of them. So here's a few names on who could be the next Bond. So apologies if I get this name incorrect. You've got Daniel Kaluti. He's 32 currently. He was in Johnny English Reborn. He was in Kick-Ass 2. He was in Get Out. And he's been in Black Panther 1 and he's also going to be in Black Panther 2. Here's a few bits and pieces. So, will he be good? No idea. You've also got Dev Patel. He's 31 currently. Some of the films was Slumdog Millionaire, Personal History of David Copperfield, and The Green Knight, which has just come out. Personally, I don't really know who this actor is, so that could be a bonus in the part of a new Bond, because the more an actor you know, the more you're a bit. Henry Cavill, who was going to be originally Bond back before Daniel Craig got the role. He's currently 38, and Henry Cavill's done things such as The Witcher, Superman, he's been in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. So he's done quite a few different big name roles. Could he do the part of Bond? Probably. And then it brings me on to Idris Albus. I think I pronounced that right. Who's 49 at the moment. So him to take on the role, quite frankly, would make him the oldest Bond to take the role on. Do I think he could do it? Yeah, more than likely. He's got a good history of films, such as 28 Weeks Later, Rock and Roller, Four, and he's been in Suicide Squad quite recently, and he's also gonna be the voice of Knuckles in Sonic 2. And then you've got James Norton, who's 36, he's been in Rush, Mr. Turner, and Nobody Special. Have I really seen much of his work? No. So as I was saying with the other one prior, could he be good as a different type of Bond that no one really knows that well? Yes. Got Robert Patterson, who's obviously been in Harry Potter, Twilight, Tenant, quite recently The Lighthouse, and he's now going to be the new Batman. So, with the role of being new Batman, could he also take on the role of James Bond? I think that's a bit of a too much, personally. Finally, you've got Tom Hardy at 44, who, well, everyone knows a bit of Tom Hardy. He was in Star Trek Nemesis, he was in Layer Cake, he's been in Bronson, he's in Batman The Dark Knight Returns, and he's recently been in Venom with Venom 2 on its way out. Could he do the role of Bond? More than likely as well. Do I think he should be Bond? Probably not. So, as we've got those names, which one would I pick most likely if I had to choose? Most likely, out of all those, I probably would have to go with David Patel, James Norton, or Daniel, the one I said before. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pronounce his name. Mainly because they're not, me personally, well-known actors as the other names on the list. And as we're on the topic, do I think the next James Bond should be female? No. This is not a sexist opinion or anything. It's just the fact it's James Bond. That's a male's name. Should there be a 007 like it was in the No Time to Die as a female agent? Yes, definitely we could go down that route. Now that Amazon owns the James Bond series and everything, there's potential to do spin-offs and make the franchise bigger. So we will see in time. Anyway, I hope you liked this slightly different random video that I tried to attempt. Um, until the next time, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy this type of video, I'll try and do a bit more and uh, give it a bit more go. Anyway, 
I'll just leave you with this. This is probably who should be the next Bond. <laughs>